Welcome back to another episode of Day by Day with PJ. It is currently Wednesday, and that means the NCAA tournament is right around the corner. Uh, starts tomorrow. Actually, there's some games that were on tonight. Uh, and so we are, or maybe even yesterday, I don't even know when those games are. Um, but yeah, Tuesday, there's two games on Tuesday. Wow. Uh, so you've already gotten a little bit of the play in games, but to really kick off before we get into the main part of the, uh, the tournament, we thought it'd be fun to uh, share our picks and uh, maybe do a little wager um, on who's gonna, who's gonna win March Madness this year. To be clear, we did all of these picks before we saw any of said games that were yesterday and yes. the day before. They don't really matter too much though, because oh. we don't get to pick those games. We're just oh. picking the we're just picking the other teams. Oh god. If it. my hand is down here petting something, it's Wembley. He's here, he's hanging out. Come here. Come here. He's right here. He's helping us film. So So just a little bit about this. Um I don't know your picks. You no. don't know my picks. I did mine probably five minutes ago. I did mine this morning, so um I tend <laughs> to watch more basketball than you. I only watch basketball if he has it on. So, yeah, I, I haven't done a lot of watching of basketball this year, but... As much or less than you. Yeah, um, so we are going to just kind of reveal some of our picks, why we made those picks. Uh, but to kind of spice it up a little bit, I thought, since I'm the one that knows a little more about basketball, um, I have an app called Speech Jammer, uh, which is a really fun way to make me feel like an idiot. Um, so I'm going to put headphones on and be speech jammed while we're um, telling you our picks, so add a little fun to it. I don't have any speech jam. No. Okay. It's kind of like Space Jam, but for speech. <laughs> um, so what it does is uh, it delays my speech that I can hear, so I put these on. Uh, I'm sorry if I yell. Um, I have noise-canceling headphones on, so I can't hear my voice, and it messes up your uh, way that you're saying things. You'll see in just a second, but... Um, I'm going to start speech jamming, and then we'll get right into our picks. Okay. So, I am being speech jammed, and Renee is not. So, I don't even know if I sound... Sorry if I'm yelling. Uh, I don't even know if I sound really stupid, but I probably do. So, we're going to start with the east side of the bracket. You can't fight it. You have I'm to get trying. In. I know, but <coughs> I think I can beat the Spanish jammer. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. I'm glad that's what Oh, happened. man. The first round, we have Duke against the 16 seed NCC or N Dakota State. N Dakota State, yeah. <laughs> or North Dakota State. <laughs> As some of you would call it. My pick is Duke, unfortunately. My pick is Duke. I know things about them. We okay. live in North Carolina. And they're number one seed, so that's probably good. Then we move into the 8-9. <laughs> and we have VCU and UCF. I picked VCU. Oh. I don't have a good reason. Are, do you even know what VCU is? No. <laughs> no. I picked UCF, which is oh. the University of Central Florida. What's VCU? Because I love Orlando. What does VCU stand for? Virginia Commonwealth University. Oh, yes. well, there you go. So we have a pick difference there. Then we have number five, Mississippi State, and number 12, Liberty. I picked Liberty because I think it's funny. Of course. <laughs> I picked Mississippi State because they're going to win. Then we have Virginia Tech and St. Lou, St. Louis. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that a little bit. Um, uh, I picked Virginia Tech because. Me too. Also, I know that's cool. Yeah, I know that's cool. And they're a number four. Yes, also these little numbers I can, in fact, read. Then we move on to Maryland or Belmont or Temple. I picked Maryland because I didn't understand why there were two schools listed. So that's one of the play in games. So. So, we've got Maryland. Mm -hmm. I also have Maryland. 
And well, I have a good reason for the next one. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay, so we've got LSU and Yale. So I used to love Yale because of Gilmore Girls, but uh. Yale was into some real shady business with this whole college scandal. So mm. Yale's on the out and I picked LSU. Uh oh. I also picked LSU. Yeah? Yeah, I picked LSU. <laughs> okay. And I picked them because they're number three seed and Yale is not good at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too. All right, number seven, Louisville or number 10, Minnesota. I picked Louisville because I like their mascot better. I picked Minnesota. 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 <laughs> We're sorry oh, to man. anyone from Minnesota. Uh, so yeah, I picked Minnesota. I think they're a dark horse. They're going to go through this first round. I always forget about the dark horses. And then when yeah. I go for one, I pick too much of a spread, like a 15 and a 2. And I'm like, yep, 15, got it. And it doesn't work. That has happened before. And I saw it. You saw, saw it? Saw it happen. Oh, no. Our cool background oh no our last game of the east bracket michigan state the second seed or number 15 bradley speaking of spreads where i go a little bit too aggressive i picked bradley because i had never heard of that school i picked michigan state which is basically a number one seed they yeah. are a very powerful team so i know can't change it now. So for the West, we have number one, Gonzaga versus FDU slash PV. I'm terribly sorry. I don't know what those stand for. Um, oh, it's either... Prairie View. Prairie View is one of them. Well, I wish or... I had known that. What Prairie a name. View. Prairie View a &M, or another team. That would be the FDU one. Yeah. Um, Farley Dickinson University. Wait, is that real? Yeah, that's real. Well, guys, I didn't know that those were the name choices. Those are fantastic names, but I did, in fact, pick Gonzaga because Gonzaga. I also like that name. It sounds like a cheese. It does sound like a cheese. Also, I know that they've done well in previous years. Yeah, except for their conference tournament. Oh, that's sad. Okay. So then we have number eight, Syracuse, versus number nine, Baylor. And I pick Baylor because they're close, but they're kind of the underdog. Oh. I picked Syracuse. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I did. Jim Behan, you just can't, you can't beat him in the, in the postseason. Okay. Um, then we have number five, Marquette. Versus number 12, Murray State. And I almost picked Murray State because one of my good friends from high school, her last name was Murray. But I didn't. I picked Marquette because that it had has nothing name. to do with the school, just the last name. Yeah. Okay. I picked Marquette. Me too. They are my dark horse oh. to make it far. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Then we have number four, Florida State. Versus number 13, Vermont. And I'm going to be really honest, I'm rooting for these little maple syrup guys. So I did, in fact, pick Vermont. To be truthful, I also picked did Vermont. Did you really? Yeah, they've got a really good shooter. He's probably the best shooter in the NCAA battle tournament. And he has the, the opportunity to beat Florida State. They're good, but I think Vermont can beat them. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. That'll be much year. Number six, Buffalo versus ASU, which is Arizona State University. Yes. I know that one. Or SJU, which I don't know. St. John's University. Ah. Well, I chose Arizona State versus St. John for As another. As did I. You did. I did. Wow. I love a good play-in team. Those are the last two in. So I thought. Give them a shot. Yeah, give them a shot. Yeah. yeah. And Buffalo. Oh, wow. Also, ASU is the same acronym as our, our mm. college, mm. so that's fun. True. Um, okay, then we have number three seed Texas Tech versus number 14 seed North Kentucky. And I do believe this is where I kind of stopped caring uh -huh. because I seem to have chosen Northern Kentucky um, for mm. no good reason whatsoever. Mm. Good, good, good. I picked Texas Tech because they are a hot team right now. And I think they can make it real fall. 
Real full. Next we have number seven seed Nevada versus number ten seed Florida, like the Gator one. Hmm. Um, but you I don't like those. No, I chose Nevada because I think the Florida people are a pain. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Last one, um, number two seed Michigan versus number 15 Montana. I chose Michigan because, again, I had, in fact, heard of that team. Yeah. Yep, I picked Michigan as well because they're the number two seed. All right, we're going to take it to the, from the top to the south. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, I tightened it up, and it's not a good idea. Whew. Okay, number one, Virginia versus number 16, Gardner-Webb. I picked Virginia. Smart, me as well. Even though they are the only number one seed to lose to a 16 in the history of the NCAA tournament. Oh, I'm going to be so mad. It's not going to happen again. Okay. All right. Oh, so I'm doing this. Yep. This uh, number eight, Old Mississippi. And number nine, Oklahoma, where the wind comes swimming <laughs> down on the plains. I okay. picked Ole Miss because, A, it's kind of a funny name, and... B, my old boss, is an alumni from Ole Miss. Oh, and... well, I picked Oklahoma because oh. the wind comes sweet down the Browns. <laughs> number five, Wisconsin, versus number 12, Oregon. Picked Oregon because I think the Oregon Ducks are funny. I also picked Oregon because I think they're going to win. Oh, well, good. Number four, Kansas State, versus number 13, UC Irvine. I chose Kansas State, honestly, just because I like that they're purple. Oh, that's mm -hmm. smart. I also picked Kansas State because they're a pretty good team. Oh. Number six, Villanova versus the number 11, 11 St. Mary's. Um, I chose St. Mary's because I hadn't really heard of them. Okay. I picked Villanova because I think they're going to win that game. All right, so number three, Purdue versus number 14, Old Dominion. I chose Old Dominion because I don't really know. Okay. I picked Purdue. They're number three seed. I think they could take care of Old Dominion. Yeah, that was a stretch. Probably wasn't a good choice, yeah. but no. Number seven, Cincinnati versus number 10, Iowa. I chose Cincinnati because Cincinnati Chili. Okay. Is that a thing? I chose Iowa <laughs> because the the corn. I guess. Oh. Yeah. Last game, number two, Tennessee versus number 15, Colgate. Guys, this was a hard one because Colgate, wanted I the, wanted to pick Colgate so bad because it's a toothpaste, right? Yeah. But I did not. I chose Tennessee. I also chose Tennessee, number two seed, moving on. So in the Midwest, we have number one seed, UNC versus 16 seed, Iona. North Carolina is my team, so I definitely pick them. I pick them as well. They're kind of my team, but I don't care as much. Um, then we have number eight seed Utah State versus number nine seed Washington, and I chose Washington because when they're that close, I could sort of just flip a coin in my head. I chose Utah State. Oh. So I think that we differed in all the eight non matches. <laughs> Number five seed Auburn versus number twelve seed New Mexico State. I picked Auburn. I picked Auburn as well. They uh, they swept in the SCC, oh. so I've got good hopes for them. Um, then we have number four seed Kansas versus number thirteen seed Northeastern. Hmm. I've never heard of Northeastern. That's just a direction. So I chose Kansas. I chose Kansas because I like their bird. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, number six seed Iowa State versus number 11 seed Ohio State. The Battle of the States. The Battle of the Midwestern States. I picked Iowa. I also picked Iowa. Wow. Good I job. Good this job. This was following the numbers, I think. Yeah. All um, right. Then we have number three seed Houston versus number 14 seed Georgia State. Which are the champions from the Sun Belt, which is where App State is. So go uh, go Georgia State, but I have them losing to Houston. And that's probably why I chose Georgia State. I ah, didn't know that's why. You've heard of them. I've heard of them. I was also born in Georgia. Yeah, they're in Atlanta, which is well, where you were born. That's where I was born, so there you go. Yeah. Um, then we have 
number seven seed Wofford versus number 10 seed Seton Hall. I've got the number seven Wofford, which is a mid-major, and I think that seven seed is, a, is an honor to be that high up as a mid-major. So I picked seven. Seven, Wofford. I don't know what a mid-major is, but I also chose Wofford because yeah. their mascot's a dog. Yeah, smart. Um, then last but not least, um, we have number two seed Kentucky versus number 15 seed Abiel Christian. Abilene. Abilene Christian. Abilene Christian. I've got Kentucky because they're a powerhouse, and I think they could do it. I know that Kentucky's a good team, so I picked Kentucky. Smart. smart. Abilene Christian was... I wanted to pick them really bad. <laughs> All right. I think for the sake of time, we just go to our Elite Eight. We'll keep you posted, and we'll post our brackets so you can see all the choices. But let's just say who's our Elite Eight. So uh, that's the these these ones. I'll help you. Okay. So in the East, my two teams that are in the Elite Eight is Duke and Mission State. Oh, <laughs> I have Virginia Tech and Louisville. Oh, wow. The two arguably best number one seed and number two seed are Duke and Michigan State. You have them both losing before the elite. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Let's move over to the South. See who they will be. Oh, they actually don't face the offense until the championship. Uh, but the South. I have Ole Miss and St. Mary's. Wow. So the number one seed off. And St. Mary, yeah. the 11, yeah. Cinderella. Yeah. All right, all right. I've got Kansas State, who's a four seed, beating Virginia and getting into the late 8-8. And then I have Tennessee, the two seed, beating Purdue and getting to the late 8-8. I have it. It's really hard to say <laughs> Elite 8. Apparently. Elite eight. In the West, I've got Marquette. Beating Gonzaga, the number one seed. Marquette's a five seed. They're getting to the Elite Eight. eight. And I have Texas Tech going to the Elite Eight. eight. Wow. They're a three seed. I have Gonzaga and Nevada. Oh. Nevada. They're a seven, a seven. seed. Okay. Settle okay. down. Respectful. Respectful. And the Midwest. Who I got? have Kansas and Wofford. You, oh, our background disappeared again. <laughs> you don't have North Carolina going to the Elite Eight? They're not that dependable. Okay, well, the end of an era here. PJ and Renee are done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's okay. I'll win this bracket. It'll be fun. Oh. Okay, I've got North Carolina and Houston. Wow. Yeah, Houston, the uh, three seed. My final four... And your final four, let's get to that. Uh-huh. So who do you have coming out out of those <laughs> those uh those um, matchups? I have Louisville and Nevada. Okay. They're both seven seeds. So I have Duke and Texas Tech in that mm -hmm. matchup. And then I have Ole Miss and Wofford. And I have Kansas State, North Carolina. So what very you, different. What brackets. do you want that national championship game to be there, man? National championship. I have Duke, North Carolina, fourth game of the year. Shocker. Sorry, I got really loud there. Uh, yeah, I've got Duke, North Carolina, and North Carolina winning the national championship. Wow. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't picked my winner. Because You're supposed to pick all your picks. I didn't know I had to pick that far. Oh my goodness. Well, I have Louisville and Ole Miss. Who are you gonna pick? A Louisville. Of course. Can I stop speech jamming? Yeah, speech stop jamming speech jamming Ooh. for this. Oh man, I feel like I have a life again. A brain in I don't. Life. I can't hear myself. It just basically like feedbacks your own voice to you, and I feel like I'm in a whole new world. So um, that was our picks, and I think we are, we're gonna have a bet, aren't we? The winner of the uh, bracket, the vlog bracket challenge, uh, or the day by day with PJ bracket challenge. Uh, gets to pick an activity uh, for the other one to do on a vlog after this is over. And just to make things fun, I why not why not do a, a bracket challenge for our viewers as well? And the winner of that will get we'll send you something. Yeah, we'll, we'll something. send you something. Don't yeah. worry, we'll send you yeah. something great. So if Bye. you want to join our bracket challenge, uh, link will be in the description. 
uh, sign up, pick, make your picks, put your bracket in. It'll be a uh, CBS bracket challenge. Our brackets will both be in it, and you will have a chance to beat one of us. And whoever wins that uh, gets a special prize from us. So, awesome. Thank you so much for uh, staying tuned for this video and uh, watching our picks and my crazy speech jamming. I uh, hope that you enjoyed this kind of video. We just want to do some more videos of like us just sitting and talking, doing some fun stuff. We, I've got some more ideas for just like fun, yeah. like talky. Um, I, I liked our, our Q&A vlog was kind of fun. So. I think it seems like most of you guys liked it. Yeah. So. so we'll do some more stuff like this. If you like it, continue liking these videos. Uh, make sure that you get subscribed so that you know when we send out a video. And uh, without further ado, this episode's over. Bye. doesn't really understand why we are sitting here we never sit confused. on this side of the living room so I know. um so is it working south has the number one seed virginia up against the number 16 seed gardner west <laughs> sideways i do believe that it has shifted wembley did you do it hmm. he did finally settle down i'm not then. too worried about it we'll, we'll fix it in him. post He'll uh, fix it in post. No, I don't think we're going to fix it. <laughs> hey, buddy. You're talking ten times louder than you were before. <laughs> Sorry. I'll tone it down a little. Old Dominion because I had heard of it. I don't know. Oh, we're really sorry. That's our dog. <laughs> he is now hey, offended buddy. by the camera. He wasn't it's okay. until ten seconds ago. It's okay. You're fine. Yummy. You're fine. <laughs> yes, we differed in the H9 matches. <laughs> okay, sorry. I have this speech jammer on and it's hard, okay? <laughs>